All right, let's talk bottles again, and uh, specifically Pressel bottles, and even more specifically, the garden and uh, I guess we call them uh, industrial sprayers. Uh, these are the, what we would call the non-chemical resistant version. Uh, I haven't tested the limits of what chemicals will work in these, but uh, outside of maybe a wheel acid, I don't, I don't know that there'd be anything that would really uh, mess it up. I mean, iron, iron remover would be like the most aggressive thing. I think I've used in these, maybe a rubber and tire cleaner. I haven't had any issues. Anyway, I'm here at HQ uh, by myself. Uh, actually, Team B is over on the other side. We split up into separate teams and uh, for shipping, uh, so your orders can still go out. So I can still feel confident making this video, turning these loose by the time you watch these. We have a small supply of these with the new sprayers. I'll explain that, uh, but uh, we are able to pack and ship and, and get things out to you uh, because we're you know classified as an essential business in Florida. And uh, but all the other non-essential people are not here. So Bryce and Mike and Jeff and Chris and, and uh, Kyle are all working from home. Uh, I kind of come and go as I need to, depending on what project or what video I'm working on. I was uh, designing a couple of garages all day today. Uh, I talked to uh, my friend TJ Hunt, uh, on YouTube guy, uh, about doing a really epic project out in California when this thing blows over. But let's talk a little bit more about uh, bottles and sprayers. So those of you who have been around here for a while, I've been talking, uh, been talking about this since the beginning, uh, the concept or the hope is that I'd be able to have a bottle and a sprayer and gallons and have uh, caps and have a system uh, where it all matches and is cohesive. Right, because many of us, me specifically, um, I don't believe that there's any one product line out there that makes the best product across the board. So, uh, you even if you let's say you picked uh, Griot's Garage or Meguiar's or something like that, or Gion or CarPro or name your uh, PNS, name your company. Even if you uh, like some of their stuff, chances are you're going to have a hodgepodge of different things for different applications. Uh, and so, my dream would be to have my own bottle. Uh, that I could, and this is for me personally, uh, that I could put labels on, uh, I guess in my case it would be a branded Obsessed Garage or you know, generic of some sort where it was wheel cleaner, rubber and tire cleaner, uh, um, AP all-purpose cleaner, tire dressing, whatever, whatever the product is, spray on wax, uh, drying aid, all of these different product types. Uh, but have it all in the same type of bottle with a really nice looking matching label so they could all point a certain way and sit on the shelf a certain way and look like a big cohesive unit of, of product in a bottle that was superior to what any company is going to provide us. Uh, and so I've been dreaming of that before YouTube, before any of this. Uh, it's part of the reason why in the very beginning of detailing for me, uh, I guess I guess it'd be the middle of detailing, is when I discovered uh, Griot's Garage. Uh, I just bought all of their stuff. And then what I started doing was dumping out their stuff and putting other stuff in their bottle. So I had a matching system. Uh, but um, even their bottles, uh, you know, leave, leave a little bit to be to, to desired or sprayers. Their bottles are nice, but their sprayers, I would like to, I'd like to have something different. So, in honoring the source, I think it was, oh, shoot, help me, uh, maybe hold comments or see this video. I think it was George, uh, was it Gregory or George? I'm terrible with names. I'm good with faces. I'm good with, with remembering. Uh, I'm, I like to try to be as, as good as possible at honoring the source of my information, but um, let's just call him George. Uh, George sent me an email, uh, it might have been a couple of years ago now, uh, maybe a year and a half ago, saying, hey, uh, I discovered these bottles and sprayers at my buddy's shop that it might be interesting to you. Because uh, I'd made live streams and made all kinds of videos sharing all these different bottles and spurs and what I was hoping to accomplish. And I've, I've actually toured factories and gone to different places and tried to figure out how could I make a bottle, uh, and I've come to the conclusion in order to do it, to make a bottle and a sprayer from scratch is going to cost you know, at least a million dollars, maybe more, and development and trial and error, 
And, um, you know, I, I like bottles, but um, most companies just aren't willing to, to make something higher end because they don't believe that people would pay, you know, 10 or 12 or 15 bucks for a bottle and sprayer if it was appropriate. Everybody's in the same market of making something for a buck or 80 cents or a dollar fifty or three bucks or something like that. So uh, I, I got online and tried to find them. Uh, I found like one in Norway and another in Netherlands and another one in Germany or something like that uh, on, on international eBay and Amazon sites. I paid about $300 for three bottles. Uh, one was this green one. I think I'd gotten a, a, a thousand ml. It wasn't this one, but this this type. Uh, the other one was an orange one uh, that never didn't make the cut. Uh, and then the third was one of the black uh, chemical resistant sprayers. And I got them, uh, and uh, I figured, I thought about it. I said, man, if I'm willing to pay three hundred bucks for a bottle, uh, and these aren't exactly what I want. And uh, they were holding up just fine and working fine for me. Um, and then I thought, well, shoot, if I paid 300 bucks for these, I bet you other people would pay like 15 for one if I could get them here. Uh, and then maybe I could ask you, the viewer, or the audience, or the people that are interested, the early adopters that are watching these videos, to take a flyer on this with me. So I'll take the risk. I wired twenty or twenty-five or thirty thousand dollars to Germany. They make these in the Czech Republic. So they're German-engineered, uh, I guess European-made, uh, in their manufacturing facility in the Czech Republic. And uh, and then I waited months and months and months. Six or eight pallets showed up. Um, the black bottles, the red bottles, these three bottles all showed up with sprayers. And what my first video to you was: Look. I don't know if these are going to work. Um, I've been using the three that I got. I like two of them. Uh, and, um, I didn't, and the one that I didn't like, I didn't order. Uh, but let's give this a shot. No warranties, no returns, no belly aching. Just give me the data. Uh, and I got enough data really quickly. In fact, I think on one of the videos, one of the tips failed. <laughs> the launch video. I'm like, that's weird. So I thought it was Carpro Eraser. Uh, and then uh, and I'd already sent out you know, the zillion of them and uh, we come to find out that the tips were sitting too tightly on the, on the head of the sprayer. And so it was sitting, you know, because you had to torque it down in order to atomize. And so my, my question to press all, and I've had many, many conference calls with them is, well, why is it, why do I have to torque it all the way down? Like, super tightly in order to get it to, to create any mist or atomization. Uh, and so they, uh, they eventually, the last batch, so the second batch, which was the last one, um, they'd sent these. So I bought pallets and pallets of these, and you know, I spent another thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. I don't know what it was, but it was a lot of money. Uh, waited months and months and months, got batch number two. Uh, they had changed the tips on the black and red bottles uh, and uh, and uh, to, unbeknownst to me, they didn't change any of these. And so I took these out of the box, and we were having issues. So the head that's on here right now, right this second, I'm about to change it out, uh, was not only do we have risk of failure, much lower risk than the red and black bottles on all three of these, because you didn't have to tighten it quite as tightly, uh, but we were having issues where it would be leaking from the shaft. I'm like, well, shoot. I, I didn't get into this planning for this stuff to... I thought we would get it and try it and then make some improvements. I didn't think we'd have a whole catastrophic failure of the stuff uh, and where, where you know, 30, 40, 50 percent of the bottles fail. Uh, and again, it wasn't 100 percent failure, but, but a large percentage would, would, would fail. There's still a lot of you out there that have some that are, that are working and working just fine. I have a bunch that are working just fine, but I also have a bunch that have failed. And so the next batch, uh, I just shelved these. So all these bottles and sprayers, and I, and I was just ready to bag, you know, throw in the towel. Um, and then I thought to myself, you know, I can't, can't quit yet. Uh, and so I sent, uh, sent some videos to press all, I had some more conference calls with them, uh, and they said, oh yeah, that, that's bad. What they were doing is they were testing them with a machine, not a human hand. So every one of these was tested off the line. And they had whatever amount of squirts or sprays. Uh, but for whatever reason, 
I don't know how they were doing it, but the robotic movement or the machine that was testing them, uh, for whatever reason, wasn't picking up that they, there was leaking from the, from the shaft. So, you know, I, I had started to question whether or not that, that this was going to be viable. You know, is this the right company to chase? Uh, we're on there. I think they're on the right track. They're so different than anything else that's available from a quality perspective. The bottling, the neck, how it's set up, the ergonomics of it are so much better than anything else I've seen, even better than the quasars. I never liked the, the quasar bottle uh, or the sprayer. It kind of cuts into my hand. Uh, and so um, the just the other day, they or I guess I guess it would have been a month and a half ago now, uh, but they they sent me an email saying we found the problem, we fixed the sprayer. It's like okay, whatever you know. So they sent me all new sprayers for all of the inventory of the these three that I had that I couldn't sell because they just they just don't work. You know, there's a 50, 60 percent of them will leak right out, right out the front here, and then um, we'd also potential, even though they have new tips. Uh, actually, these didn't have new tips like the like the black and red red chemical resistance had. So I uh, just the other day got a call from Customs saying, "Hey, we got some package here. It says that it doesn't cost you anything. Um, is that true?" I said, "Yeah. I mean, we have some bottles. They're a warranty replacement." Uh, so I have a zero cost. They incurred the cost of it. Uh, and so I got tons and tons of heads, just enough to replace the bottles that I have. I didn't want to order more of them until we got to test these. So I'm excited to say, I think we got it. We're really on to something. So not only did they appear to have fixed the problem, we're going to find out here because we're going to test all these on camera, you know, to, to me to you. Um, I've already, you know, I have one of them set up here that I've been walking around spraying like crazy. Not only do we have the fixed leaking out the, uh, out the piston, um, we also have a new nozzle and new atomization. So not only does the nozzle have to not have to be torqued all the way down, we have more customization of the atomization, we have more atomization. And so we get all of the good parts about this really stout, really awesome bottle, uh, really great connection point where you won't have to worry about this ever wearing out uh, of you removing it. Uh, and then nice ergonomics with the trigger uh, and, uh, and combine that with a, something that actually works. Now we're on to something. So now the next step will be to make labels and figure out a, you know, a process for each of these so that we could you know, provide you with a system where if you bought you know, 22 bottles with all the different types of products you use, now we're getting closer to be able to create a system where you can line your shelves with something pretty looking. So what I have here are two new blue ones and five new, uh, new uh, gray ones or blackish ones. Uh, that we're going to put on all of these. These have the same exact, these are all the same type of sprayer, same type of straw, it's just that we have blue ones and black ones. Uh, and then we have green or yellowish green bottles, blue and then translucent. Uh, and so we're going to swap these out. We're going to put some water in them. I'm going to show you how they work. Uh, and then as of right now, this video, they'll be live for you to purchase. I don't have a lot of them. So my guess is they'll sell out really quickly. I'm going to institute the same exact policy. Um, we're not doing warranties and returns. This is only for early adopters. This is only for those of you who want to continue to help me fund this project of figuring out what works. Uh, all the pricing is on the website. Uh, and uh, once they sell out, they sell out. Uh, and then I might wait a few more weeks. I'm going to save some of these for me to play with, uh, you know, get some more feedback on these things. Uh, and then if they're good, uh, then I'm going to turn it loose and I'm going to order, you know, to, to mass, I'm going to fill these shelves in here with bottles. Uh, and then we're going to create a system for labeling uh, these, these so that people can start to build out their collection of bottles. Then from there, uh, after we, you know, f provide Press All with more and more feedback, then we can do things like improving them, improving the colors and the types and the dilution ratios and fill lines and stuff like that, all the other ergonomic things we want. Uh, also including, you know, having them make us a gallon and things like that to match all of this stuff. So I, I knew that this would be a five-year long project. Uh, I knew that um, we would all have to spend some, some a few bucks uh, to 
to do this, you know, I'm taking a significant risk every time I order, you know, tens of thousands of dollars of bottles that I'm, I was going to have to just throw these away uh, or give them away. Um, but luckily they've stepped up and gotten us new heads so that now it's an, it's an option. So it, there's just a language barrier and we're, they're across halfway across the world. Uh, and, um, and I'm asking them to enter a market that they're not really in. Uh, and so, uh, I'm really pleased with how our, how, how they're responding to this, uh, just knowing how much time and money it takes to create something like this. I'm taking a base creation and hoping to make it better. So let's, uh, let's swap out all these heads here. So what I think I'm going to do is put a dot just to be safe. So we're going to swap it out for you. Um, so the, the sprayers that you get. So I'm just going to put a, a dot on the handle. These are all going to be discarded. And they're all going to be thrown away. I'm going to put these, actually set these aside because we're going to have to fill them up with some water so that I can show you operation. And so my dad and Ted and Andrew and the whole crew is going to have to swap each one of these. But again, it's, it's a relatively small batch. It's maybe, I don't know if we have, I don't even know if we have, maybe a thousand, thousand of these, something like that in total. I'm going to keep doing that. Just want to keep organized here. So notice these all have a straw type. These are, and there's, there's a filter on the end of it uh, versus the chemical resistant sprayers, which would be the black and the red. And then what I'm going to ask them to do is to make the same upgrades. See, the black and red didn't have as much, a few very small percentage would have leaking from here. Uh, obviously, they had the tip issue. They re-engineered the tip. Uh, and so I'm going to ask them to make the chemical resistance the same level of atomization and everything, because those are the flagship bottles. They have a different type of straw. Or I keep putting these on. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited about the prospects now of having bottles and sprayers that function really well. Then we'll just have to, I mean, you guys will do this torture test this for me. So this will, instead of us only taking f four years, to, instead of taking uh, four years to do this, it would have taken us ten if we didn't uh, have you all helping me early adopt this stuff. And I know some people don't like that, but I don't freaking care. I'm doing it anyway. I'm going to chase this. I'm willing to ask for help. And some of you are willing to help. It's interesting. The thousands have a different. No, it was just that one. Must just have been the batch. I don't know. Maybe it was a thousand. It has a little bit softer tube, more pliable tube. Okay, so all of the bad sprayers will go off to the side. Let me go fill these all up with some, I'm just going to put some water in them, and then we'll show you atomization and how they work. Okay, sorry, but our, our angles aren't going to be very good for the foreseeable future here until we get through this uh, pandemic. It's just me in the garage. Back to old school, old school Maddie just standing here, hoping to capture the idea behind it. So the blues and the translucents are clearly of the same series, and they come with or they come in 500 milliliters and 750 milliliters. I like the 750 sizes on all bottles. That's my preferred size, which, what is that, like 25 ounces-ish, something like that, 24 and change. Maybe it's 20, 24 to 26 ounces. I probably should have done the math before this video. And so notice how these work. So you torque it on, and then the head, I'm not sure if I love this or not, or I like it. I, kind of like how the head just stays in, in, in place. So once I torque it down and the threads are really stout on both both the, you know, the, the collar and the top of the bottle. Uh, and so, you know, these are, these are bottles that are designed to like last forever. And then you could just change out sprayers or, you know, when they work. Hopefully it's every couple of years your sprayer fails and you, you get a new one. Um, 
but the, the 750s are my, my favorite size. And so what you do, put it on, lock it on, and I'm gonna set it up wherever I want. It's gonna be interesting to see what kind of labeling we can do, because these bottles are kind of funky. I actually like the look of these, the blue and the translucents much more, but I like the function of the yellows, blacks, and reds better. So these have a slight angle to the neck, which makes them really ergonomic. Once you kind of get used to them, they do look good on a shelf. I think they'll look even better with a proper label on them if we can figure out how to, how to create something unique that actually goes on the bottle because obviously these oblong bottles are going to be hard to get a label to where it won't bubble up. We're going to have to figure out how to, how to make that. Maybe there's some sort of relief cut or something in the labels as we make them. But the 750 in this style is my favorite by far. But the blue ones obviously appeal to me because of you know their nice neat looking cylinder. They just don't feel as good in your hand. Okay, since I like the 750 so much, let's, uh, let's test this out. I haven't pre-tested these. Uh, again, these are the new sprayers right out of the box. We're gonna find out here. Uh, I'm not gonna cut this out of the video. Maybe I will. We'll see. <laughs> I probably won't. Uh, you can even feel in the, in the tip, those of you who bought some of these, it just twists much smoother. Uh, and so I'm gonna start atomization here. So this way, sprays all the way across the room, a little bit more. So now we have some adjustability in atomization. They must have made the tip, the tip looks like it's finer. So it's, it's a smaller looking orifice. And so we get atomization much sooner. And then as I come all the way to the end, I get darn near perfect performance absolutely in love with it. I'm so excited. It's happening. It's finally happening. No leaking. Remember, dual action. So one spray, second spray, one spray, second spray, one spray, second spray. We do get a little bit of a drip as it, as it completes the spraying action out of the, out of the orifice. I don't see how you can get around that. The Tolkos and all the other sprayers I have do that too. So I don't think there's any issue there. So there's one functioning. Yes, look at that. Oh, it's good, finally. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna get the floor all wet. I don't care, it's worth it. I find that these tend to hold, I think they do. We'll try in a minute when we come back to the original, but they tend to hold the liquid. Once it siphons, it tends to hold. Yes. So one thing I don't know is how long is this gonna last? So those of you who are gonna buy these to, to, to be a guinea pig, I think they're good. Um, I've been walking around for a week with it. And you can go, now we have some medium or some atomization adjust adjustability. But I'm telling you, those who bought, those of you who bought these before, we have a lot more, you know, it's missed a lot more than it did before. It really is gosh darn good. Yes. So notice these aren't as comfortable in your hands. The 500s and the 750s in this cylindrical bottle it tends to hit my pinky or my finger, so I could go three finger spraying, which just doesn't feel natural. I feel a little bit more pressure in my thumb, just because of the way that these are held versus this. I never find myself hitting hitting my finger because I find I do short pulls on these too. Most of the time, I don't find the need to come all the way in and all the way out. Last one. Yeah, I've tried a few chemicals in these. The 
really good. It's so good. So a couple of problems right now. Um, for those of you who bought the previous ones, um, I don't have enough. I only have enough of the heads for this batch of bottles. Uh, and so timeline, let's say we sell, I'm going to sell these, get these out. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to wait probably maybe two, two weeks. I probably won't wait that long, but let's say two weeks. Get, let's get these out, out in the wild. Let me use a couple of these a little bit longer. Uh, and then I'm going to order a, a much bigger batch uh, so that we have them here complete. I'm going to order replacement heads uh, and make them as dirt cheap as possible. So I want them to send me a bunch of replacement heads uh, so that I can provide you those so you can buy them for your bottles now that where you have failed heads. I think you'd want to replace them. Even the ones that aren't failed, I think you're going to want to replace them on all of them. I know, I know I'm going to do it to mine. But again, I don't, I don't have the heads now available. Uh, but the goal would be to have tips, heads, straws, strainers, or filters, have every part and piece available for, you know, continued, um, uh, you know, continued swapping and maintenance on them so you didn't have to buy a whole new. Uh, again, pricing is going to come down as my orders go up. You know, if we send a whole container over, pricing is going to go down. Uh, and as we, you know, as we, as we, you guys buy more of them and as we hopefully make this a standard, again, my goal would be you buy a car washing package, you buy a wheel cleaning package, you buy a, an interior cleaning package, uh, you're, you're either going to get an empty or filled bottle labeled uh, with, uh, you know, a press all bottle so that it makes it again more unique uh, makes it perform better so you don't have to, to do it so uh, in a perfect world I would like to take you know PNS interior cleaner have it in a specific gallon that matches whatever size you want uh, and so that way it'll say you know uh, interior cleaner on the bottle but it'll be PNS in there and you'll have a matching gallon uh, with Obsessed Garage labeling on it so all of your products match. And then there'll be some companies that won't let me put their stuff uh, that'll probably won't allow me, like I don't know about Meguiar's or something, but they may not allow me to do it in my own bottle. Then we'll just sell you a gallon of the stuff and then you can just fill it, you know, fill it yourself. So we'll figure out that over time. Hopefully, if you know you guys keep buying this stuff, we keep getting bigger and have more clout uh, and ability to um, to be able to take the you know, the best products in the world, put them in the best bottles in the world. Because uh, I know many of you, just like myself, would be willing to pay for it. You know, I'd I'd buy a thousand bucks worth of bottles for my entire product line. It, it wouldn't be that much. But let's say I had twenty bottles at, at ten bucks a piece, a couple hundred dollars in the bottles, uh, and then just maintain them, keep them up to standard. Because uh, I don't care how much money we spend, the bottles are still going to fail. I just don't want them to fail in a week or a month. I want them, I want them to last a long time. And I want to be able to, again, swap out parts and pieces to keep them operational, keep them functioning really nicely. So I'm gonna, I want to be able to provide that solution to you. So uh, this is the first time I'm making a video where I really see it. Uh, they've already made some adjustments uh, without me even having to provide them with uh, a lot of really um, negative feedback. We just suggested, hey, this doesn't work. Can you fix that? So they've continued to respond. I'm excited about that. So um, the other thing we'll figure out is once, once we get to production, uh, production version of these bottles, I'll figure out what's an appropriate warranty and how will we manage that warranty on the bottles. But again, right now, no returns, no warranties, no complaining, uh, don't buy them. I don't have enough of them for everybody to buy anybody anyway. Uh, so don't, you know, don't buy this unless you're willing to help me do this. Um, I priced them at a, you know, just a few bucks above what I caught, what they cost me, um, just to pay for the risk and to pay somebody to put it in a box and send it to you. Um, but again, I would fully expect pricing to come down, a warranty to eventually exist, uh, and uh, you know, continued evolution of these, as well as being able to make a, you know, make a line out of them, uh, and then continue to evolve that and improve that uh, as time goes forward. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for your support. Thanks for those of you who have been through this process with me. Uh, for those of you who don't get it, look, just I don't know what to tell you. Um, I know this is audacious. I know that I'm asking a lot. Uh, but I also know that if somebody asked me this, 
uh, I would absolutely, if somebody else was doing this project, I would buy into it in a heartbeat. I'd spend, you know, 75 bucks and buy a couple of bottles. Um, I'd do it in a, in a millisecond. So I'm just creating things that I know I would subscribe to. Otherwise, I, would, I wouldn't be doing it. So thanks for watching. This is a crazy project. I'm a crazy dude. I like that, uh, that, uh, that this opportunity. So I'm going to keep doing it. Thanks for watching. Bottles are available. Buy me out, and then I'll keep you up to date with as we uh, as we get replacements, parts, and more. I got to order reds and blacks and more of all of these, and then we'll we'll let you know and keep you up to date with as I do labels and things like that. Catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.